Time to make history at the DuPage River Sports Complex, where Naperville Little League Baseball hosts its first ever Junior A Division City Championship. We have the Dan Cullum Flyers at 13-4-1, taking on the NCTV 17 sponsored team, which is 14-3-1. Let's jump right into the very first inning. Emerson Wood at the plate and he wraps the ball left side. It's thrown away so Wood motors all the way around to third base. Mitch Maris up next and he BBs a line shot to third, but that's exactly where Max Calillo happens to be. He snags that and gets the tag in for an unassisted double play. And after all of that excitement, the starter, Jay Quinn, pays his first hitter of the day, and that ends the frame. So to the bottom half, and with a runner on, Mitch Anderson shoots one right back up the gut and into center field. Ryan Quinn zips around the bag and heads to third. And that sets the stage for the first run of the game, which crosses on a wild pitch with Quinn scoring. But starting pitcher for Dan Cullum, Bradley Anderson, is able to turn things around. He drops in a very pretty off-speed pitch for the backward K. Anderson actually now at the dish, and he's yanking an outside pitch to the pole field for a base knock. And during the next at bat, Anderson takes off, which is actually perfect because Alan Weber hits it exactly where the shortstop was. Runners now on second and third. And when you put guys in scoring position, it's actually nice to score them which is what the Dan Cullum Flyers do on a drop third strike. Not only does Anderson come in, but so does Weber, and it's two to one Flyers. Trying to shut down the scoring threat, here's a pop fly in the infield that Fabian Mendoza closes the glove on for the first out. Then check out this play by Mitch Anderson, a catcher, bounces out and gets the second out, while Trey Frije keeps the runner at second. And that's big because next up is Gavin Springer, and he chops one past the infield. However, the runner stops at third, and NCTV is able to get out of the inning. Crazy start to the game, right? Bottom half of the second, here's a bouncer right side that Wes Schmidt absorbs and tosses onto first. And now we move ahead of the fourth. Weber back at the plate for the Flyers, and he gets one past the infield dirt. Anderson takes the turn and heads home. The lead now three to one Flyers. And then Justin Locke is gonna send a roller to second, it's hit hard enough to score a run, and the red team up 4-1. to one. In the bottom half of the fifth, NCTV 17 begins to chip away. Here comes Anderson sprinting home after stealing third, causing a throwing error. Then, with Curtis Burke at the plate, a ball gets past the backstop, and here comes another run. Khalil scores. And can you believe it? With Patrick Norton on third, another wild one scores the game-tying run for NCTV 17. Now with one out, Jay Quinn grounds it back to the pitcher, who makes a nice play to first, but uh, the go-ahead run is gonna score. And NCTV 17 is up five to four. Finally putting an end to the big frame, OJ Mercado comes in and snags the final out in left field. So to the top of the sixth we go, and how about this blast from Mitch Maris? Over the center fielder's head and all the way to the wall. It is so far away from home plate, it takes a double cutoff to get back. But it actually works, and NCTV 17 cuts down the runner at home to preserve the lead. Closing out the inning, Trey Frije puts away a fly ball, and NCTV 17 is now three outs away. In the bottom half, NCTV 17 scores once and looks like it'll score again, except Curtis Burke comes in and saves a run. Now to the seventh, 6-4 lead for NCTV 17, and Jay Quinn is going for the complete game effort, and he gets it. NCTV 17 wins the first ever Junior Division City Championship. Well, probably the, the catch I made out in the left field, that was really, uh, that, that got me really excited because, you know, I hadn't, um, 
I uh, hadn't done, I, I wasn't playing my best like at the plate this game and I really wanted to contribute something to our team in the final game so we can win the championship. That felt really good. I was really excited. Everybody was excited. Everybody was fired up because we just won the championship. Finally. So when I was when I was 11, I was in the championship game. We lost. It was, it was crushing. Good to finally get it done. It's very exciting. This is second in my history in playing baseball. So it just feels amazing to have been around such a great group of people. And it's awesome. It's the thing I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been playing baseball for a pretty long time. And to be able to hold this championship with me and my teammates, it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. Um, just joy. Um, just being happy, you know, being here for so many weeks. And then, you know, being able to be crowned champions and lifting this trophy is just an amazing feeling. Well, I mean, it's cool because, like, we can, we, like, me and my brother, we drive here together, we go back, and, like, we always talk about the game in the car and stuff, so that's cool, just to, like, have fun and stuff. It's just fun, man. I mean, practice really pays off, and then we, I really got to do it with my, my, my teammates, coaches especially. We all basically go to the same school except for a few of us, but we still know them because we're friends with them. And if we didn't have, like, these players, if like even two of them were subbed out, we wouldn't play as good as we would, I don't feel. Uh, when you catch, you kind of know what's going on with the batter and you get to like study their players through their batting stance and how they hit. And then when you go up to pitch, you have that information to know where to pitch, what pitch to pitch, and uh, everything else. It's, I'm speechless of this game. They have some really good hitters, so I was I was planning on them hitting it to the outfield. Um, I've just enjoyed uh, the friends I've made, the coaches, going to practice, playing the games, just the whole overall experience. <laughs> I think my favorite part of being on this team is I learned a lot this year from the coaches, and I think everyone on my team could agree. Our coaches did a great job teaching us different things, and we learned a lot as pitchers, different things like um, new stealing and pickoff moves and stuff like that. Well, there's not much to say other than I enjoyed it. I mean, these guys are like, you know, I'm a family. I mean, I played with a lot of them for a long time, um, mainly because we're around the same age, so we go into the same teams. Um, my favorite memories were that we got to go to practice every single week and just batting practice. And we used to, like, see who can hit the farthest, and it'd be close every single time. It's been amazing, you know, since like the day one we've been getting base hits, you know, the bottom of the lineup, we've been doing so good lately, and yeah. We, uh, we had some good base running, and uh, we played some really good defense today, and I think that was the difference. Uh, I mean, what can you say about Bradley from the other team pitching? I mean, he was, he was tough to hit, but we took advantage of our opportunities, and, uh, you know, we had, we had Jake pitch a complete game, which is amazing, seven innings. Uh, who's, he was about to hit the, the pitch limit, but he stayed just under. And the defense in that last inning was amazing, uh, you know, keeping it a, a quick inning for us. But. Uh...